Hi everyone, welcome to my channel once again. And this is FM Graphic Design. In today's lesson, we are going to learn how to design Happy Memorial Day flyer in Coral Draw. So today is 21st of September, which marks the Memorial Day of Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. And this is coming up. So this what we are going to design now right in Coral Draw. Okay, so let's get started. Let me come to this page where I have designed it in Coral Draw to height. Nicely done right here. I hope you can see it. Alright, so I'm going to dismantle but to save time I'll copy my images right here. I'll have all my images uh, my test down so this also down now I'm going to delete so these are my resources right Bring this on. Now I can delete the rest. Okay. To page for now. Now let's go and bring our resources. So this and this. Making to third one. So we drag all into the world. So I have all of them like that, right here. This is what I'm going to do. This will serve as my background, okay? So let me just zoom it out to drag it to fit the page a bit. Then I'll go to bitmap. I'll convert it to bitmap. Click OK. And now I'll come to Blair and Gaussian Blair. Now I'll play to tally. Okay, so this is what I need. Now I'll bring it to the other side. Double click on my rectangular tool here. Now I'll right click on it and power clip it inside. Okay, so this is cool. Now this is what I'm going to do. I'll hold the alt click on it, then I'll take my transparency tool. Now I just want to reduce the transparency to something like this. This is what I want. Now, I'll take my image and bring it right here. So I'll go to hide. Now I'll have this right there. Something like this. Then this is what I'll do. I'll take my transparency to again. Then I'll drag it on it to blur the bottom okay so this is cool now i'll drag it again a bit mm. to fit now i'll right click and power clip it inside something like that now i'll hold my alt click on it then drag it a bit for it to be a bit big. that is cool now this i'll bring it somewhere here but it's having a background so i'll right click then i'll trace it the logo mm -hmm. so it will remove the background for me so it's have removed it then i'll click on it then i'll bring this here just drag it a bit oh, yes this side let me change it as it mirror it and this is cool I just have to power clip it inside here. Yeah. Now hold the alt click on it, then I can bring it here. Okay, so this is cool. Now click outside. I can delete this now. Now I'll just bring my logo here. I'm designing this for my cat cage. 
which is an e-commerce site so this is their website you can go and buy your products from there they just work like junior even better than that so it is my cart right so this is the shopping basket and it is on it so you can visit www.mycartg.com okay so this i'll just bring it right here so simple and i've written this also down this also down so i'll just bring it in. and this also here this test also here now i have the contact details at the bottom i'll just highlight all and bring it in and i have it done here within a few minutes so to page to height and then full screen here it is so look at something you see that the, the background is somehow blurred with the dress okay if you think you don't like it you just have to remove or reduce the transparency that is all so after i'm done this is what i need to do just right click on the cross and here then our export highlight everything from 2 e to export it okay so if you ask me to name it i'll just type something right here and i'll export so it is loading and it will be exported into a jpeg format for me and here it is okay so thank you for watching my video please click on the subscribe button if this is useful to you and share to your colleagues to also acquire a little skills in graphic design thank you